So shout out to the Shake Squad, not a gang stand up, it's your boy Shake. By now, we have all seen the new NBA 2K21 featuring Zion Williamson PS5 trailer. And I'm just like the rest of you guys. Obviously, gameplay is what we're all looking for. So trailers, we're kind of past that era, but 2K is always gonna give teasers just to get you a little bit excited about something that they're putting out. That's just part of marketing. If you guys don't know how marketing works, pay attention to how 2K drip feeds us a little bit of information at a time until they reveal everything. But the real point of me doing this video is that I have a sneaky suspicion that 2K filmed this as early as last summer of 2019. Might have been earlier than that. If you go back to the NBA 2K20 Next Up trailer featuring Zion Williamson, you'll see that he's in an empty warehouse that can easily be dubbed or changed into an empty gym where he's doing the same dunks he did in this digital representation for 2K21. It's got this empty gym environment where it's just Zion Williamson in the cameras and he's doing these dunks and it's obvious they're capturing him for this trailer. Then you go to the House of Next trailer featuring Cash Nasty and LSK, shout out to them. And if you look at the end of that trailer, you're gonna see Zion Williamson in that same empty warehouse. It's dubbed as a gym, they got a hoop and everything. It's very dark and cloudy and they are filming him dunking the ball, getting some animations in. Well, you can't put Zion's animations in the game without using motion capture technology. So I contend that they put him in a mocap suit last summer in preparation for that trailer, but also for the trailer with the new motion capture technology, potentially a new engine for NBA 2K21 in yesterday's PS5 reveal. There's just too many similarities. And then also after 2K20 dropped, then we had the coronavirus earlier this year. When did they really have time to fly Zion out again to have that big studio and to mocap some new animations for him for this trailer? So why would that be a good thing that they had him out as early as last summer doing animations for NBA 2K21? That just means that they may have had the PS5 or Xbox Series X dev kits for over a year now. Or maybe they were already using the latest motion capture new engine technology even before they had those dev kits, but they knew the PS5 could support it. That would also mean that they've been working on 2K21 for more than a year, at least before 2K20 dropped. And it's so obvious, I even told you guys before 2K20 dropped, don't expect a whole lot of differences between 2K19 and 2K20 because I knew the devs were hard at work on the next generation consoles, 2K21. This is exactly the same scenario that it was going from 2K13 on PS3 to 2K14 on PS4. I wanna give a big shout out to my boys Boss Ninja and Adidas who reminded me of some footage from Inspired Entertainment Inc who are showing you some virtual basketball latest motion capture technology. So as you're taking a look at this footage, I'm reminding you that the link is in the description. Definitely go check out their channel and subscribe. But look at the lighting and look at these graphics. It all comes together when you see these animations. This is some of the latest motion capture technology to date. And this was posted February 15th, 2019. That's at least five months before the Zion trailers came out for NBA 2K20. Inspired Entertainment is based out of the United Kingdom, and they say they're using ultra-realistic graphics and animations utilizing the latest motion capture technology. There is no way 2K hasn't seen this. And I've shared this with at least one other famous YouTuber, uh, one of my good friends, and he and I both agree that this is some of the best looking stuff we had ever seen. I 100% believe that 2K21 could very well look just like this. This is all mocap. This company's not producing a game. There's no controls behind these animations. They're just showing you how it looks when they motion capture with the latest technology. The reason I believe 2K21 could easily look like this is because of that PS5 Xbox Series X architecture. From what I know about the PS5, the key is with that next gen SSD. I've read all the specs, faster loading, larger worlds are to be expected. For us in 2K world, that means more parks, more locations, more animations, more realistic body movement. They're saying that with the PS5, we should have more detailed and dense environments, which means more stuff on screen at one time, more things that can be zoomed in on that have detail. Movement through immersible worlds should be very quickly with more detail on screen. 
So going back to this Zion trailer, you notice there's a lot of facial expression. Um, they're trying to show you some of his handles, which are kind of giving you the idea that you have more control over his dribble abilities. He's not having to move. His feet are kind of planted on the ground. He's, he's not jumping too far, too fast. Obviously, we saw the quick first step in that trailer a little bit there too. But just based on the PS5 alone, I'm expecting, I'm at least predicting a lot more environments, a lot more animations, and some of the best motion capture for these animations that we've ever seen. If you go back to 2K14, the lighting was incredible. And that's actually one of the staples for why we still hold that game you know, dear to our hearts, because we just believe it had the best graphics simply because of the lighting. If they did it before, I'm pretty sure they could do it again. I'm not necessarily trying to hype you guys for NBA 2K21, but I'm definitely hyped for the PS5 and what these next generation consoles can bring to the table. If 2K can truly take advantage of that, we're definitely looking forward to some amazing games for the next iteration of the 2K installments. So it's your boy Shake. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Did what I show you guys in this video give you a little bit of hope that 2K might be in, headed in the right direction. The campaign trail for 2K21, which means the slow drip of information does begin in June. Subscribe to my Instagram, guys. I have a lot of stuff popping out on Instagram, some things that are exclusive only to my Instagram. So that just means more information pertaining to 2K21 that you can get from me over there as well. Smack that like button and subscribe. Turn on notifications for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah!